So the first and easiest method is to get you a 48 inch level. You can use this as a straight edge. This is a Stanley. I'll drop links in the description below to everything you're going to see today so you can go get those for yourself. Now if you got a level, 48 inch level, these are very inexpensive. This is an I-beam style level made out of aluminum. It keeps a good straight edge. I've had this one for a couple of years. So let's say we have this sheet of plywood and it doesn't really matter how wide you're gonna cut a piece off, whatever you need to do, but we're gonna pretend it's gonna be a six inch piece. So what I would do is I'd come over and measure a six inches. Now your circular saw shoe or the bottom of it is gonna depend on what the distance away from the blade. So depending on what kind of circular saw you have, and the distance between the blade the edge or this edge will depend on how far over you're going to move this, right? If I was wanting to cut here at six inches, we know that from the edge over, you want to the inside of that blade. So I would be looking to the inside of the blade right there. Make sure that that's where I want it. Move that level over there and then double check everything. Make sure that that blade is lined up. Once it's where you want it, you can take a small clamp, clamp it to your workpiece. Just snug. You don't have to wrench down on it because you'll wind up bending your straight edge. Or you could take some quick clamps like this these do the same thing. That'll hold it in place while you may cut. What I would suggest, what I do, is I will take and measure that end. So you'll measure over from there to the edge of your plywood, to the, the edge of your level, to the edge of your plywood. This is seven and three eight. We'll go down here and make sure this is exactly seven and three eight. And then we would clamp this in as well, another small clamp. Clamp that in. Then we would take our circular saw, make our cut. This will be the guide. This would uh, be exactly six inches all the way down. You'd make a good straight cut and you're straight in. Typically, you're not gonna get a level that's over over 48 inches long. You know that most sheet goods, plywood, are four foot by eight foot. So this is great for cutting across the plywood. But if you have an eight foot cut you need to make, I have something for that. This is a Swanson straight edge. It's about 40 bucks. It's a Swanson CG100. I'll put a link in the description below to this one. What's awesome about this is it's eight foot long. It comes with two small clamps to clamp it down. It comes with everything you're gonna need to cut a good straight line. It can also be used as a four foot section, just like this. So it, it breaks down. It has this piece here that goes into the channel. You can see that it, you can see that it is a shape to fit inside the channel. What that does is when you insert it into the other half, it has these thumb screws on there. You can just slide it inside the channel on the other piece until it lines up and then you tighten these thumb screws down. When those are tightened down, you have an eight foot straight edge. How awesome is that? So it's basically the same premise as the four foot. We're gonna pretend my tabletop is a sheet of plywood. I don't have a full sheet here. You've probably seen me use this in some of my other builds. You can check out any of my plywood furniture builds on the channel and you can see me use this and some other methods. The way this works is this side is more raised than this side. So you have a thin side and a thicker side. This is about a quarter of an inch tall. Maybe yeah, about a quarter of an inch tall. So that gives you a good flat surface for your saw to run down. You do the same thing. You're gonna take the distance from the blade to the shoe, measure that over. These little clamps will clamp to the sheet of the plywood and to the flat side. This actually works a whole lot better than the level because the level has those two I-beam pieces and it sometimes makes it hard to clamp correctly. So if I was going to pick between a level and this, I would go with this because you've got eight foot versus just four, or you can just break it down and use two pieces as two four foot pieces. It goes together simple. It breaks down for good store, easy storage. It's super straight. I mean, this thing is like arrow straight. So you clamp this end down you would take the other small clamp clamp it on the other end i always lose my tape measure come on man so i said this is eight foot it's actually eight foot four inches what's awesome about that is you're going to have two inches of overhang on each side of your plywood if you're ripping a long eight foot strip so that gives you plenty of room for your saw to keep tracking after you get to the end of the plywood and it gives you plenty of room to clamp with I highly recommend if you use sheet goods at all, pick one of these up. 40 bucks, but they work excellent for what they are. They're, like I said, they're straight. It helps you get good straight cuts. Once you get each end clamped, you got the distance measured off, your saw will fit right up against that. It's actually about the same height as this saw shoe. So it's got a good flat surface to run up against, not so thick that it will interfere coming the other way with the motor. That's a good thing because sometimes that, that level with a clamp on there will interfere. But this is, is thick enough that it gives you enough surface to for your saw to run against, but it's thin enough that it's not gonna interfere with the motor. Coming this way, this is a super good way to get a good straight cut on plywood. Or a two by eight, two by 10, things like that. You actually use this to joint an edge of a two by 10 or a two by eight. And last but certainly not least is the Craig Rip Cut. Probably one of the best $40 I've ever spent is on the Craig Rip Cut. I like Craig products. They're, they 
they don't sponsor me. I just like their products because they're great for beginners and intermediate woodworkers. I've built tons of awesome looking furniture and projects using Craig products. I just like them. They work well. I mean, then they're inexpensive for what they are. This is a Craig Rip Cut. This will work with virtually any circular saw you have, no matter if it's corded or battery powered. It's so simple to get put in there. Let me show you. So all you do is you'll take your circular saw. It has these two. Come on over here. Let me show you. It has these two basically screw clamps on there. So you just slide your circular saw right into onto this mount. It has a stop block to tell you that you can adjust so that you can measure out and adjust it just right so that these measurements are correct. So you just flip this over. So Phillips head screws, just snug them down with a Phillips screwdriver. Same thing on this side. So you just snug those screws down. I don't over tighten these, just snug holds it in there just perfect. So I'll make sure that the guard is raised side, make sure everything's unplugged, no batteries, nothing like that so you don't accidentally turn it on. Make sure it is square against this piece up here, pushed up against that stop block. If the guard is down, it'll actually interfere with it there. Once everything is squared up and touching this piece in the front, you just snug these screws down. Now it has this flip stop, flip that up and you can move this circular saw. You can move it from one inch and it has the guide with the mark on it to tell you how far or where you're cutting it. Slides on this track all the way out to 24 inches. Once you get it where you want it, you just flip this stop, this lock down and it locks it in place. It won't slide anywhere. This piece is lower than the rail and so that acts as an edge guide. So if you're going to cut a 24 inch piece out of this plywood, this goes against the edge of the plywood. It has a handle for your hand to go in. You hold it against that edge of this plywood and then all you would do, start your saw and just let it guide down that edge just like that all the way down. You're going to have a perfect cut every time using this Craig Rip Cut. I've used this on dozens of projects to cut down sheet goods. Helps me get a good straight cut. Cut. the only tip I would give you is when you get close to the end of that cut you need to be sure and hold this firm against the edge if you don't it will actually walk just a little bit on you if you're not holding on to this edge really firm if you're holding it firm you have no problem just hang on to that this thing works really great so if you're interested in any of these three products I'll drop links in the description below they'll help you get good straight cut especially on your sheet goods if you work with sheet goods at all uh, it's a great way to build different kinds of projects out of plywood these things work really well if you don't have a table saw it's a good option Craig also makes one that goes up to 48 inches. I'll put that in the link description below. It's a little more expensive. I think it's $70 or so. This $40 Craig Rip Cut's probably my pick of the three options today. Second would be the Swanson Straight Edge and then finally the 48 inch level. If you like these short woodworking tip trick videos, go ahead and click that box right there for more. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. Click the bell icon so you don't miss any content we've got coming. I appreciate that. If you watch that next video, you're getting that virtual fist bump. Thank you.